welcome back to Hennix Restorations. Today we have some packages to unbox. Let's bring it up to the table. What? Let's do it. Which one should we start with first? Small one? Yeah? Okay. Let's see. So these parts are for Hubba, the white Range Rover from 91, 90, 91. I don't know, I never learned uh, that we're trying to get started. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, I will release the next episode of the Hubba project where we're getting it to run. I haven't succeeded yet, so stay with me to see how it goes. So let's see, what do we have here? We have a fuel filter. Mali fuel filter. That's good. Next one. What do we have here? The fuel pump. So this is the new fuel pump that we will put in our new fuel tank maybe. Looks good. I can show you a picture of the existing one that is in the tank. Doesn't look so good. But this one looks good with the filter down here and the connector and yeah, everything looks superb. Then we have some O-rings for the fuel injectors. Should be 16, four times four, 16, yes, check. Metal seal, metal gasket for the fuel pump. So we can put it in this one. Uh, also a locking ring for the fuel sender that's in the tank at the moment. I think we will use the same one because it, I think it's actually working. So we will use the same one. Hopefully it will work. Otherwise we will order one of those. OEM fuel pressure regulator that is in like located nearby the fuel, uh, the fuel rail uh, that is adjusting the pressure of the fuel that is circulating. Let's see what we have here in the bottom. Very light. Ah! Oh, I actually ordered a new fuel sender. That was smart. Good. Then we have the fuel system connected. If you are doing it properly, you should do with proper fuel lines, like copper or something. But I'm doing it with just a fuel hose for now. And if we get a car run, maybe you one will choose to do it properly with some proper fuel lines. So that's good. All the things that we need probably, let's put it here again and put this away. Let's continue with the big one. Let's see what we have here. Very, very big. Very, very big. Okay, let's move it down on the floor. Oh. The main piece of this car and this project so we can get it to run. Yeah, I know why it's a little bit heavier than I expected because we also bought a new cradle Nice. Careful with that one. And then we have this one. Oh, 
let's hope we bought the correct one. Let's see, let's keep the plastic underneath here. So we don't scratch it up the first thing. There we go. Here we have the filler, filler neck or the filler. And on the top here, we have the hole where we'll, we'll put the fuel sander or fuel pump in here and the uh, gasket and so on. And then on this side, we have where the fuel sender or the level uh, sender will be on this side. So this is the left hand side of the car and it's the right hand side of the car where we fill. And then the fuel lines go underneath here to the fuel filter located here and then send the fuel forward to the engine. And then you have a return line. It gives you fuel in return. Nice! This looks good. Gotta send a picture to you one. That's all the parts for Hubba. It's gonna be great. It's like Christmas Eve. So let's see, we're gonna move on with the next one. And this package is for my car that is in the garage. I don't have a name for her yet, but I don't know. I think I said a name way back in one of the videos. I don't know what I called her, but right now it's just my 1984 rangy but i guess we need to find her name so if you have a name for her uh, please comment down below if you have a good suggestion for her one day she will be mm, will be good to drive her and those products for hubba is bought from famous four in the uk i can highly recommend their site their products and their support or delivery because they almost every time deliver before estimated delivery day. I think I order it on like Wednesday afternoon, I think. So it was like Thursday, Friday, and then during the weekend and arrived on Monday before lunch. From UK to Sweden with costumes and everything. So really, really good. So I can highly recommend Famous 4. This package that we got next is for this car, my Silver Range Rover from 1984. That's gonna be a sort of resto mod, kind of original, mostly. And as you have seen in earlier episodes, I am working on fixing some rust on this rust bucket. And now it's the sills that are getting some treatment. I can link to the video up in one of the corners and you can take a look for yourself. But let's take a look. I haven't opened it and it was delivered, delivered like three weeks ago. So let's take a look and hopefully everything is complete and not broken or bent or whatever. YRM, YRM Metal Solution. I'll put a link to this website in the description so you can take a look. They have a big range of products for Defenders, Land Rover Series, uh, Range Rover Classic, Discoveries, you name it. A bunch of parts, so take a look at the website and um, order from them. So let's see, as you may have seen in the video I did before, the, the B posts are pretty bad. We got rust underneath, so I ordered new B post lower sections that will be mounted outside the sill. So the sill will be inside and then it mounts underneath. So we'll cut out the lower part of the B post and then use this one. So this one needs primer and uh, cover paint and so on. And then here we have extended outer sill for D1s and Range Rover Classics. And this one you can use on both sides, both the left and right side. So I guess you just remove the old ones, put this one inside instead, and then weld it. I have never done this, so this is totally new for me. Uh, if you have any comments or recommendations on how to do it, take a look at my video and see The status the car is in, but the plan is to remove the rusty parts out, put a new sill in and then the new B-post. Uh, and then we're 
done with the seal. But yeah, it's kind of much rust. And as I also mentioned before, I think I would need to remove the body so I can access the frame more thoroughly and clean it and paint it so it's absolutely no rust and it will be protected for many years ahead. Um, but yeah, that's it. Some metal parts for my Range Rover and we got some fuel parts for Hube. That's about it. It's the unboxing video that I've been waiting for quite some time. And I think Yuan has as well. So hopefully we can get the car started just in a few, few days or a week or so. I'm mean, very, very excited. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, click like, subscribe and leave a comment. I answer all of the comments that you leave. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you in the next episode. Ciao.